Know your tools, know your libraries. Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and I suggest grab yourself a mug of coffee just as I did and then we'll go into some sound design with Vocalise 3. So as some of you might know at the moment I'm scoring this short horror movie called Sympathia and the team there sending me the storyboard in form of short animated clips and then I just score them, put them on my YouTube channel as an unlisted video. They can review it, give me their feedback. We ended up at the moment with the super minimal. It was just like do less, do less, do less. It will be scored mostly with Nightfall, there's Paravox, there is Pandora and there is Vocalise 3 from Heaviosity. And this might be a surprise for some of you because Vocalise 3 for most of you will be this ethereal, wonderful, beautiful um, vocal library and maybe you have even seen the video that I did about how I wrote my demo track for Vocalist 3 The Weightless but there's even quite a dark side to Vocalist 3 if you know how to use it because the gravity engine really gives you a whole lot of possibilities and let's dive right in. So if you have the keyboard here the first trick then you do have on the upper range trigger effects like So, you can switch the keyboard here so you get the trigger keys to trigger a certain note if you want then you can go up to have those effects here. And we start on the main page. You do have distortion for example for your sound. Right click, learn MIDI CC automation, move any fader or knob and then You can record this whilst you are playing your music. The same goes for the twist. You switch it on here. You know, there's the rate which can give then even some rhythmic movement to the whole clip. There's the same thing, you know. Um, learn MIDI CC automation. I already did this on another knob and then even this one. You can easily automate and record it. As I said before, there are even the trigger effects. You get to that page here and there you can set the rate and the bits, how this effect should work, but you can even automate them. Because even for them, there is a sequencer. If you click on that advanced button, then you get into the sequencer and there you draw your curve. As you like it. You do have the range. Yeah, you do have the smoothness. You can choose even if you would like to have 16 or 32 steps and just play with it, really just play with it to get this glitch effect. Might come in pretty useful for this horror cue. Why did we go with vocalies? Um, because you know the most human sound that there is is the human voice and during the movie then there will be a scene which will pretend that there might be hope. So we will use even the ethereal part, the beautiful part for quite a short moment like whoa they, and, and then go back to this but it can get really haunting and we will do this with an unstable vocalscape. How do we do this? And by the way bear with me at the very end of this video I will show you even a nice trick with the three channel instruments of Vocalise 3, how the pitch band can do some really eerie action. So, let's get here to the motion tab and this is where the magic will happen. I am on the first pattern and if I press, nothing happens. If I switch it on, you see there's a sequencer starting to move. I can decide the steps and I can decide the rate if this should go fast or slow, obviously synchronized to the tempo of your DAW. We do have the panning here and what I will do, I will go to the pitch. And now listen how this changes pitch.
and it gets unstable. I do have here the range, how much this should change. which obviously is way too much. So I will leave the range here to something around five or 7%. And the smoothness is the same thing if this should go smooth or abrupt. And some of you might say now, okay, but this is getting boring because it's uh, no, because it wouldn't be a heaviosity library if they would have thought about this. So you do have eight of those patterns, individual patterns that you can chain up in a row. So I will go to the second one now. In the second one, I will have the volume drop at the very end. Even the rate on this one is really quick, you see? Really quick, and I do have here the pitch, just like a wow, 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 wow. you know, something like this. Then I will go to the third one. In the third one, I will do something similar. At the end here, I do have some drops in the volume. Let's just listen to this. And there come the drop. Even with the pitch, this is how the pitch goes of the third pattern. Okay, and then there comes the magic. I will say to this sequencer, I will use three or four or five or six in my case, three of those patterns, please chain them together. And with the follow button, you simply switch on if the display here should follow the chain or not. So that was the first one. We are in the first one here, you can see it. getting to the end of the first one and there we go into the second one you see the display changed even here you see you're in the second one which is the quick one and then we come to the third one which is again slow you know the volume goes up and then there are the drops in the volume really play with those libraries they allow you so much sound design wise not only the beautiful sounds out of the box the drop the drop and we go back to the first one and you have eight of those this is pretty cool and as i said at the beginning i will show you even a nice trick that you can use on a vocalist instrument with the three channels like in this case no. Okay, there's the instrument, there are the trigger effects, there's the motion, everything. But what I would like to show you is something you can do with the pitch wheel. I will solo the very first instrument. We go into the pitch wheel and then obviously... Okay, I can go up and down 12 steps, which is too much. So I will limit this maybe two, three. But what I will do... I will invert the movement, means I move the pitch wheel down, but the sound goes up. Okay, I switch on again on the main page in the mix, the other instruments, and then we do something crazy. Because this one I will pitch down only one half step, whilst this one I will allow to go down three half steps. And this one with the inverted range will go up three half steps and then... If you move the pitch wheel, you get those three channels out of tune, but in different steps. So I think you get the idea that you can use Vocalese 3 even to score a horror movie if you know how the gravity engine works. So as always, know your tools, know your libraries, really dig deeper into them. They offer a whole lot and then you can take your sound design world in your hand and really create something which is yours. If you would like to see another video of mine, then I suggest 
just watch the video in which I show how I wrote the demo track Weightless for Vocalese 3, which Heaviosity then decided to use as one of the official demo tracks. I'm still really happy about it, really grateful about it. And that's it from my side for today. As always, make good music always. See you in the next video or in the next live stream. Bye-bye.